2020-2021 presented library staff with the opportunity to demonstrate their flexibility, innovation, and commitment to our community by adapting services and programming in order to preserve the health of our patrons. Due to COVID-19 protocols, access to the library was limited to curbside and appointment-based visits through May of 2021. Staff's ingenuity was especially showcased as they sought to preserve the spirit of Christmas through safe, socially distanced visits with Santa. This involved designing a snow globe set which provided a magical atmosphere for children and adults alike. Families were especially appreciative of the chance for their children to share their wishes with Santa and have a special Christmas photo taken with him. These programs were so well received that an additional night with the Grinch was also offered at the Charles R. Jonas Library. Children were entertained as they visited the Grinch's lair in Whoville. Valentine's Day allowed us to connect with those normally served through the bookmobile services in a special way. Art from the Heart was a new program established where community members and staff painted wooden hearts that were distributed to 417 residents in nine nursing homes across Lincoln County. This unique program assured residents that they were not forgotten during these difficult times of isolation. As spring arrived, opportunities began to present themselves for limited in-person events. Elephant and Piggy, as well as Pete the Cat, visited eight different schools, providing over 30 story times for students at Lincoln County Schools and Lincoln Charter School. They also made guest appearances at the Charles R. Jonas Library and West Lincoln Branch Library, where children enjoyed stories, making buttons, and just getting their pictures taken with these well-loved characters. Throughout the year, staff worked on several different grant projects. Thanks to the Bosch Foundation, individual hands-on STEM kits enabled library staff to continue their outreach to local schools. Today, here in the lab, we're going to make science happen. I don't worry, it'll be relatively safe. You don't need any eyeball guards or protective vest for this one, but you will need a curious mind and a desire to learn how to fight against our future robot lords. <clears throat> Doc Dewey and students from our community were featured in videos highlighting each project with step-by-step -step instructions and correlations to science lessons drawn from state curriculum. stem to go kits provided projects tied with curriculum outcomes for second, third, and fourth grade students. Second graders built bristle bots and lit up the night with their own fireflies incorporating circuitry concepts. Third graders built grabbers and explored the food chain through owl pellet dissection. Fourth grade projects included designing and building fan-powered vehicles and magic light wands. Each of these projects were made available to teachers at schools across Lincoln County. The Beyond the Book Library Services and Technology Act grant was designed to promote reading and writing through in-person author visits at the library and local schools. Mike Mayhack, author and illustrator of Cleopatra in Space, was the first one featured as part of this series. Through his school visits, he spoke to almost 750 students and 50 participants attending writing and illustrating workshops at the Florence Shanklin Library and Charles R. Jonas Library. Each child attending the library programs was given a journal or sketchbook to use for telling their own stories. And I always start with the eyes for any character I draw uh, because the eyes, your eyes are really how you communicate with others, um, especially more, now more than other, ever with masks and things. Um, we're always looking at somebody's eyes because you, know, you get a sense of, of what they're saying. New York Times bestselling author Karma Wilson was our featured guest April 19th through 24th for a week-long literacy tour across Lincoln County. She visited eight schools and spoke to over 1,300 students in person and 780 virtually through Google and Zoom meetings. Karma also presented 10 programs throughout the library where she shared her books through story times, puppet shows, and offered writing advice to aspiring young authors. Now we have to imagine we're in a bog. But before we can imagine we're in a bog, we kind of need to know what a bog is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Anybody have any guesses? What do you think of bog? A log. A log? It rhymes with log, but it is not a log. Wet. What do you think? A pond? A pond! Or a swamp! Now, riddle me this. If I'm writing a story about a frog in a pond or a swamp, why did I choose the word bog, which means pond or swamp? Why would I do that? Because of bog. It rhymes! You are so right. Yes, bog 
rhymes with frog. And now, because I use that word, you guys will always know the word bog, and you will know that it means pond or swamp, and your vocabulary just grew today. And you know what a vocabulary is? It's all the words that you know that you can use correctly when you speak or write. So now you know a new word in your vocabulary, and it is bog. Nick Iliopoulos and Zach Lauren Clark, authors of the Adventurers Guild and Minecraft series, visited four schools speaking to over 600 students. In addition, they were featured in five programs at the library focusing on creative writing, role playing, and character development. The fourth author and illustrator visiting as part of this series was Bruce Hale, especially known for his Clark the Shark books. Bruce entertained children with his hilarious tales and cartooning skills. The primary focus of his programs was on telling stories through pictures. So, I'm curious, how many of you here love stories? Raise your hand if you love stories. All right, good, I came to the right place. <laughs> Me too. Stories are what changed my life. I'm gonna tell you a few little stories about myself and then I'll read to you from one of my books. We'll do a little bit of drawing. I might even do a song. You never know what could happen here. The final guest artist, Matt Myers, illustrated Karma Wilson's book, A Dog Named Doug. Matt built on previous workshops and taught the importance of telling stories through images and gave participants tips on how picture books are made. To ensure that our students are reading at or above grade level by the end of third grade, the library partnered with local schools to provide virtual summer school author visits featuring Nick Iliopoulos. Each student received a bag with an autographed copy of Nick's most recent Minecraft book, a writing and reading Minecraft workbook, and a pencil. A total of 365 students and teachers participated in these programs. Students were especially excited about connecting with these authors in an intimate setting. Silver Steam programs continue to expand technology and art opportunities in partnership with Lincoln County Senior Services. Art programs, including those featuring sellable circuits, merged art with technology as participants made light up poppy flower pins. Armchair Adventures enabled participants to visit faraway places such as the Smithsonian Museums, Machu Picchu, the Natural Museum of History, cathedrals in Rome, and Mount Everest through the technology of virtual reality. I took my family to the Grand Canyon in 1966. It was the best vacation I ever took and always wanted to go back, but money was tight and before I knew it, the kids were grown. I never made it back, but I really enjoyed the VR experience. Virtual programming replaced most in-person events, but provided a safe, flexible environment while expanding the library's outreach. Staff continued promoting literacy through online story times, inspired creativity through step-by-step -step painting and craft activities, encouraged scientists and engineers with STEM and LEGO challenges, and promoted reading with the help of the invisible librarians. Around our community story times featured business leaders, representatives from community agencies, and local heroes reading stories relevant to their professions and lives. These programs kept everyone connected and provided a way for families to learn more about Lincoln County. My name is Joe Fletcher. I'm a captain with the Lincolnton Fire Department and I'm here today to read The Little Fire Truck by Marjorie Collier and we want to thank Macmillan Publishing for allowing us to read this to you today. Hey everybody, my name is John Davis and I'm the director with Lincoln County Parks and Recreation. Today we're going to read A Monster in the Park by Amanda Hoonke and uh, we want to thank Abdo Publishers for letting us read the book today. Hi there, I'm Juan Santiago, a paramedic with Lincoln County EMS. And this is my partner, Zachary Rice, also a paramedic with Lincoln County EMS. Today we're going to read for you How Do Dinosaurs Get Well by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. And thanks to Scholastic for allowing us to read this today. Hey guys, I'm Kayla Jackson, your 2019 Apple Queen. And today I will be reading I Will Be Fierce. Hi, Santa Claus here, long business Claus. And uh, she's going to be reading a story. Hi everyone, I am Ranger Amanda Lassley. We are at South Mountains State Park and I'm going to read a story to you called Hiking Day. In addition to around our community story times, other special programs included videos focused on family genealogy, the Revolutionary War, 
Lost Pirates, and Campground Traditions. Two popular featured series included I Survived the Connecting Link and Virtual Field Trips. I Survived tied local events with a popular historical fiction series for kids. <laughs> but I had thought of, of enlisting before, but I did go with the second group of uh, teenagers when they lowered the draft to 18. I went with the second group from Lincoln County. I dropped the bomb, and I saw the plane that carried the atomic bombs in the war for us. Wow. It came in and landed on our airstrip, and uh, of course, we didn't know what it was, uh, what it was carrying, and our airstrip was not supposed to be large enough for that big a plane, but uh, they brought, came in, landed, and filled up the fuel, and took off the next morning at 10 o'clock. And, of course, that's what ended the war, was the dropping of the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. Virtual field trips brought the farm to homes and classrooms across Lincoln County. Hello, my name is Evan Crawley and I'm with Lincoln County Soil and Water and we are with uh, Corey Lutz. Bridget Lutz. Uh, on Piedmont Jersey Farm to look at their uh, milking operation, go over their farm and kind of take you all on a virtual tour of how their system works. Uh, can you kind of explain what these cows are and the reason why you chose to, yeah. Chose to go with them? Yeah, there's, uh, there's actually five uh, dairy breeds in the United States. Uh, the most popular are the big black and white cows, which are the Holsteins. Holsteins weigh about 14, 1500 pounds and uh, probably average about 75 pounds of milk per cow. These jerseys probably average about 900 pounds and they average probably about 60, 65 pounds of milk per cow per day. Overall, staff produced 224 videos with more than 56,800 views and feedback including 8,100 likes, comments, and shares. The highlight of 2021 was the long-awaited opening of the new West Lincoln Branch Library. On Saturday, May 1st, the community celebration featuring outdoor games, music, and tours provided the first official gathering at this facility. The 2020 Bookmark Contest and Judges' Choice winners were also recognized as part of this event. The dedication and ribbon cutting for the West Lincoln Branch was held on Friday, June 25th with dignitaries and special guests. Tours and demonstrations highlighted the variety of technologies, services, and spaces available to the community. A special commemorative library card was also unveiled featuring the new facility. The library is state of the art. What an amazing addition to our community. As proud parents, grandparents, we are so proud of this West Lincoln Library and staff. Without the great thoughtfulness and generosity of the Beam family, and commissioners, this building would never have been possible in our lifetime. For anyone and everyone to have donated, assisted in all areas, is and was greatly appreciated. I am so impressed with this beautiful library for Lincoln County. We would have loved our three daughters having a place like this to come in the past. Really proud to have the state-of-the-art library in our community. On behalf of the library staff, we thank you for the privilege of serving our community as we begin another year and anticipate new opportunities.